Charles DeJoux lost his seat in Congress to Hanabusa two years ago after winning a special election to replace current Governor Neil Abercrombie. KITV Force Kenny Choi has a look at what inspired him to run again. Even for a former congressman, refereeing a soccer game is no walk in the park. Ponies, you're going that way. Ponies, you're going that way. Did you see a hit inside or outside the cone? Kids certainly know how to lobby these days. You're an outside? All right, goal kicking. This is Charles DeJoux's way of getting away from politics. People are a little bit more forgiving in this arena than they are, perhaps are in the political arena. <laughs> For the record, I do think it bounced on the outside. Because of your help, because of your generation, we are in the process of taking our government back. DeJoux's impassioned run in the 2010 special election led to a major victory to represent District 1. It was an unlikely win for a Republican considering his first job in high school. And my job back then in 1986 was I was a stamp licker. Uh, I actually licked stamps for, for Pat Psyche's congressional campaign. But six months after arriving on Capitol Hill, he lost that seat to Colleen Hanabusa. Soon after declaring he would run again, he deployed to Afghanistan. I saw illiterate Afghan peasants willing to take their children to school, even though they knew their school was being targeted by the Taliban. Dejou first joined the Army Reserve after 9-11, putting his law degree to use as a JAG, a Judge Advocate General. That for every Afghan national that the infantry picked up on the battlefield, uh, I was to make a judgment call as to whether or not that Afghan national sh was more likely than not in Taliban and therefore should be locked up, or more likely than not just a, a local national who had gotten caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, go. Making calls on the soccer field pales in comparison to the decisions Dejou made in Afghanistan and on Capitol Hill. That's why this is where he loves to be on a Saturday morning. Butterfly show. All right. What happened? On defense, girl. Are you okay, sweetie? Like a politician should, he asks questions and weighs both sides. Is the over the cone count as a goal or a goal kick? Kenny Choi, KITV4 News. Now, Dijoux admits it may have been easier to switch parties as a moderate Republican in a heavily blue Democratic state if he only cared about winning an election, but he says doing that is not who he is.